A member of the public was uh, walking his dog and um, basically his dog noticed something on the riverside, went off to investigate and he didn't really think anything of it. Um, he thought it was a coconut shell or the top of a ball at first. Um, but then he walked the dogs back to the same spot about a day later and thought, hmm, actually I'll go and have a look at it. And sure enough, upon investigation, it was the upper part of a human skull. Um, as would be most people's reactions, he immediately contacted West Mercia Police. Upon closer investigation, the pathologist thought it looked archaeological and that's where we came in. Uh, so we submitted it to our labs in Scotland and uh, they confirmed it was archaeological, but slightly older than expected. It was uh, around 3,300 to 3,000 BC, uh, which was significantly older than we thought. In terms of Neolithic archaeology in the county, it's, it's very sparse just by its nature is that it's, it's quite ephemeral. So it's, it's an exceptional find. Myself and a forensic anthropologist in Scotland, uh, we both consider it to be female from the slightness of the skull and the lack of brow ridges. Um, age and cause of death are also unknown simply because of the lack of uh, lack of remains so unfortunately it remains a bit of a, a bit of a mystery it's in fabulous condition considering that it's washed down the river Avon during flood um, our thoughts are that there may be a cemetery or something a, a similar context upstream upstream uh, a burial um, and during uh, flooding, it's eroded out of the bankside and then being carried downstream. The way it's ended up here is, is unbelievable that it's uh, so exceptionally well preserved.